Hello folks, as you can tell, we are here at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. And we're here for the Hollywood Nights Coaster Enthusiast event. Now as you can see here, well of course you know that's me. And of course as we're walking through the park, anyone with that badge on is a fellow enthusiast. And there are a whole bunch of them. So let's go for a walk in the park. There you can see the statue of Santa, of course, at Holiday World. And here to the right is the big old, big old Christmas tree. Kinda neat. Of course, Holiday World is divided up into a couple of lands. We're going to start out in Christmas and we're going to walk over to the 4th of July. There's also Thanksgiving, Holla Dogs, Holla World, or I don't know, something like that. And there is the Halloween section. That's cool. Uh, the applause fountains. It gets a, oh yeah, it's pretty neat. I'll try and get a picture of it. It looks really cool at night. So uh, check the website, which is, of course, www.awalkinthepark.podomatic.com. Check it out. I'll post, post some pictures on there. Be sure to leave your comments over there. This is Kringle's Cafe. There's not a whole bunch in the uh, Santa Claus section of the, uh, <laughs> no, Christmas section of the park. This little theater down there where they, say, oh, Santa's Storytime Theater. Now this is where everyone ate last night for the uh, enthusiast tent. They had pizza and fudge and chips and it. But one thing, let me tell you folks, the food around here is awesome. This park has some good food. The pizza last night was really good. Then we ate at the new uh, Plymouth Rock Cafe in, uh, Thanksgiving and that had uh we had some ham and mashed potatoes and baked potato and stuffing and a roll it was uh, really good stuff pretty uh pretty busy today at the park but of course with the coaster enthusiast event the crowds clear out when it's time for ERT well, let me tell you folks it's really something else there's a lot of people here everyone's friendly it's glass blowing shop in here I encourage everyone to get out to Hollywood Nights. I'm assuming there'll be another one next year. It's a lot of fun and nothing like riding the Voyage at midnight in the back seat. That's one of my favorite rides ever. Oh, this is cool. The security guards this year have been riding Segways. I thought that was really neat. I actually saw them doing a mall too, a mall in uh, Indianapolis. Now a lot of you think that, Pat, you go to school at Purdue, that's in Indiana. Holiday World's probably one of your home parks, isn't it? No, it's not. Holiday World's a four hour drive from school, so it's only the second time I've ever been here. Alright, as you get this sign showed you, we are walking into the 4th of July section of the park. And that's, uh, got the American theme to it. Uh, of course, the. We've got, uh, Spider over here. I think it's Thieves of Paul Revere. I think so. I'm not too familiar with this part of the park. And then over here to the left is the Lewis and Clark Trail. That's, uh, old antique car kind of ride. That's kind of neat, nothing too special. More of the spider going on the right. Also, one thing about Holiday World, everything's cheap. You are, you're paying uh, market value for uh, everything, really. And then the games are over two bucks, and it's a good deal across the board. Yep, Paul Revere's Midnight Ride. That's the most general uh, coaster buffs. It's a spider. All right, down this way, I'm not going to take you down here, but there's a, I think it's a Mexican restaurant and a couple of little kitty rides. Now, Holiday World is famous for doing, the first part to do the uh, free unlimited soft drinks. And they, uh, I'm going to take you through uh, one of these. You just walk in, it's going to get loud, so grab whatever soda you want. And then fill it up. Whoop. See, pretty neat. All right, delving deeper here into the uh, 4th of July section of the park, we have Thunder Bumpers, which <laughs> is kind of funny to say, and that's your bumper boat. And over here is the uh, counterpart to the bumper boats, and that's the bumper cars. The bumper cars are apparently signless this year. But they're really cool. All right, here's a SNS launch tower. We get a shot of the uh, bumper cars. It seemed like bulls and stuff. Isn't that neat? I always kind of thought that was neat. 
And another thing, they have a, each section of the park has a whole bunch of music playing behind it. And uh, always themed to that section of the park, of course. So American, they got all sorts of classical American music and uh, from classic American movies and other things. Thunder Bumpers, a uh, oh, lighthouse kind of uh, decoration, I guess. And look, you can win a monkey. All right. Delving back, ooh, they, I didn't even know this. They're barbecue chicken and pork, oh. You could eat your way through this part, gain 50 pounds. All right. All right, here's where you get on board in the uh, Freedom Train. That's the oldest ride in the park. You get open with the park and it's a uh, themed ride through Fairy Death. Over the bridge here is how you get to Hollow Dogs Fun Town. I'm not going to take you back there because it's well, it's for little kids. But that's where you find the Howler, the, uh, the lesser known of the Holiday World coasters. But it's back there. If you ever wanted to ride a uh, coaster shaped like a dog, come to Holiday World. Oh, this is cool. This is the Revolution, I believe. Going in full tilt. And that, that one gets you sick. Trust me on this one, folks. Oof, look at that go. And there is the uh, the flyer. Now this guy right in front of me, he's got the official Hollywood Nights 2007 t-shirt on. Very cool, very cool. Alright, revolution over here to my left. And a basketball game tomorrow. Right. It's getting kind of loud, so if you can't hear me, I do apologize. Ah, and there it is in the background. My favorite wooden coaster in the entire world, that's right, it's the Voyage. Here we have another Pepsi Oasis. Let me head down here. Oh, one thing about Holiday World got a lot of hills to it. Oh. All right, here's uh, where you would get on board for Holiday World's Rapids ride, the Raging Rapids. A pretty good Rapids ride for a smaller park. Definitely kind of neat. Now yeah, we're walking down here. There's not too much in this area. Of course, rapids, so any park that has rapids, you know rapids take up a lot of room. Might be able to catch a glimpse of it down there. I guess there must be a show going on over here. I'm not even sure. Yeah, it sounds like a country show of some type. And it's been a lot of fun. You have a lot of, a lot of real good conversations here at Hollywood Nights. Make a lot of new friends. All right, we're coming up on an intersection here. Going down here, and this long path that way leads you over to the Thanksgiving section. Home to the Voyage, the Gobbler Getaway, Sally Dark Ride, and the, the New Turkey Whirl. Ah, uh, we're not going that way. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going over towards Halloween. Now you can see over here is out to all the Splash and Safari. The new Bakuli water slides out in the back. And it's a lot of fun. I spent most of the morning and early afternoon over there catching some slides. They've got a very good selection. And it turned out being a whole lot of fun. Very popular though. I would say there's probably about as many people in the water there's more people probably in the water park than there are in the theme park. But there is a there was a long line for Voyage when I was down there. It was through the upstairs and downstairs queue. All right, as you can see, we're going into Halloween. Upstairs, downstairs queue, out the door, through the excess queue, spilling out onto the midway. It was just, that thing was packed. Do you know when it won't be packed? During ERT, later tonight. Tonight it goes to midnight, really cool. And probably one of the prettier rides at Holiday World here is to my left. That's the Hollow Swings, one of the newer attractions. And a really cool looking ride. I haven't got a chance to do a lot of the flats yet. I've been sticking to the coasters and the water park. But, uh, that's, uh, that's in route. Coming up. And the, here we can see the, uh, the legend going. Getting kind of busy here, so I try not to run over some little children with my, uh, coaster banter. See the legend's first drop in the background? And it doesn't have much of a line. Cool, a good wooden coaster. And let's continue on.
we're getting a little long, but uh, that's just how I'm choosing to break this podcast up. It's going to go long, and then I'm going to do uh, a lot of voyage stuff. So it's, uh, I really like that ride. It's where you can buy your legend photo in that little hut there. You got a little arcade. And that bell means that train just left for its ride on the legend. Of course, down this path here, you could get to a log flume ride. Not the best log flume ride, but about what I would expect from a little park like Holiday World. Cool though, that Raven, Raven Legend, both very good coasters, and uh, the Voyage, my personal favorite wooden roller coaster. We got the Scarecrow Fairbrother on our left. And let's continue walking. We're going up a hill now, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. Whoop. Darting through little kids with the greatest of ease. It's the walk in the park podcast. And we're coming up just about on the end of this podcast. You see some of uh, some legend going back there. Of course, this is used for, as you might assume, a dive show. That's actually, that's Raven going back there. And this is where I will about end this podcast because I'm going too long and it's going to kill my bandwidth. But here we are at the Raven. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of uh, Holiday World. And we'll see you next week at the park.